KP! KP in the house! You already know how to bounce! It's Disney Detonation coming at you from the Transformative Content Fair U Studios in New Jersey, and I'm your host. And today's episode is about the one and only KP, as you can tell by the intro. So we're going to get right into it because there's so much content this guy gave me in the past week. I don't know if I'm going to have to split this into two vlogs or one, so I'm going to try to get, to try to get through it as fast as I can. So the first clip is um, called is called I Know Everything. And it's he is in the Magic Kingdom with his friend from uh, Australia, Taylor. And let's just get right into it. I don't know. My favorite food, they got rid of it. Oh, are you talking about uh, Pecos? Yeah. They got rid of it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let's let's research. Let's research. We'll find out. We'll, we'll, we'll update you guys in a second. Yeah. All right, I'm just being obnoxious at this point, but here we are. Perfect. And snap. Cut. <laughs> There's the rain. The storm is a brewing. It's supposed to be here all night too, but hopefully it's it's not going to be. They're actually clearing the stage right now. They're weather 101. You see that? So here he's saying that um, they're clearing the stage because there's inclement weather coming. Now listen to this. Well, it's the end of the French Friendship Fair. So the oh, they're done. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. I need that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. You're at the parks constantly and you still don't know the, the schedule of the parades and the shows and, and then he's going to somehow turn this on the on the viewers who call him out for it i knew everything right everything you know you know nothing nothing no? or at least you guys expect me to know everything people don't expect you to know everything they expect you to know the basics which you don't know and you and like for you to put this out there is like, it's underscoring it. Like, how do you not understand that? Thing. I try to know everything, but you know, hey, I don't know everything. Who likes an auto? Let's realistically. Nobody. Well, nobody. Nobody at all. Exactly. Yeah, nobody likes to know it all. But people like to know, you know, just the basics. Especially if you go there every day. Like, you know, I don't memorize the schedule when I go there, but I do look at it, you know, depending on where I am at the park to figure out how to, how to get somewhere without hitting a crowd you know taylor you're supposed to know everything too okay because you watch my vlogs daily i sure do oh this is great you got us this guy in the blue hat behind them look at the look he gives them while they're vlogging this is exactly what i was talking about when uh when, you know when i tried to vlog at the um at the spirit uh halloween where people just like look at you like you're just you're just an asshole <laughs> i absolutely do right you know what i do all the time yeah and I'm the biggest fan. Look who it is over there. Yeah, look who it is over there. Okay, so uh, just to take it a step further with, you know, people expect him to know everything. So at, he went to an event at the Swan and Dolphin, the um, Wine and Food Classic. And he just, he, he obviously was, <laughs> like, it gets, it's so much better. He was invited to this thing and he wasn't going to go, but then on a whim decided to go with the girl from, um, Australia Taylor but at the end of his vlog he does this oh also by the way there's two menus night one and night two will have different menus not too much changes though there will be some additional offerings versus that they had on night one versus night two so he, he does a quick voiceover with canned footage of the, of, of, um, of the swan and dolphin and all you had to do was go on this website. Everything's here. Like it, it tells it, it shows you that there's two menus. Here's the menus. It, it, it actually shows you what they are at each different day. Um, not only that, but even I, I didn't know this either. There's all kinds of crazy experiences you can you can do that are in addition. Of course, there's extra fees to them. You can do these courses like craft cocktail courses. He mentions none of this. None of it. It's, it I mean, come on, man. All right, it gets it. Let's just keep on rolling with this. So this next clip is him and Taylor as they're leaving the the wine and food classic from uh, just the Swan, and he doesn't remember the name of the event, so I stick it on his head. Uh, here, check it out. Well, Disney's newest food festival coming in November. Tickets and links will be down below. But I seriously enjoyed myself. That food was far superior than anything I've really kind of tried at a food event in a while. Same. In a while. That was great. It was amazing. Anything? Tonight we're going to be experiencing a progressive dining experience. 
but it's a media preview and I think we might be going to seven total stops here around the Bonnet Creek properties. This whole event is brand new menus. It's a brand new fine dining experience called Epicurious. As you can see, I have a brand new KP bullshit meter that appears whenever he's bullshitting us. So yeah, so I stuck the logo on his head in the front to so maybe he'll remember it next time. And then I showed you that he just went to a similar event a couple of weeks ago, which he said he did not. So the next clip is called Target Hack. Now, he's got to stop vlogging with gum in his mouth because it's, it's, it's freaking disgusting, man. I really like how empty Target is. It makes filming so much easier. Maybe I'm going to wake up in the morning to come to Target. <laughs> That's a plan. I'm going to wake up early in the morning to go to Target to vlog. To I think video I just want a little hack. It's definitely a little hack. A very little one. Okay, so here's the next one. I don't feel safe at malls. Mall, this isn't a uh, millennium mall. This is a little bit different. Never really go to this one. There's been a lot of, at least from what I heard, there's been a lot of like crime in this area, so I tend not to come over here. That's the thing with malls. I don't really feel safe, safe at malls. Is anybody here <laughs> with me? I just like, uh, I, I'd rather go to Disney Springs. Douche. Yeah. Disney Springs is not a mall. It, it's, it, it, uh, whatever. Okay, so the, the next one's called Signature Dining. Quick, even though this is quick service, it's coming from a signature dining um, menu here, Amare, and you can't really compete with that. Again, with signature dining. Is it signature dining, like where they brought the food into the Vibes food truck? I mean, help me out here. Another crack observation by Professor KP. Is, is, was it exquisite pizza or fine dining pizza? I mean, it never ends. Yeah, I mean, I think the slot bar was, what, like $19? It does mm -hmm. come with a little bit of a bigger price tag, but you're getting something that is so much better. And look at the eye roll here. Is it me, or could he be any more condescending? Like chicken tenders, french fries, or yeah. burger. Mm -hmm. I can tell instantly once I put it in my mouth if it's going to be a banger. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Now, I've, on my quest to find out <clears throat> more information on what, quote, what signature dining is, this is the legal definition. <clears throat> a signature restaurant means a restaurant other than a quote-unquote fast food chain. I mean, that's that's a, that's the legal definition definition of signature dining, and they go into this whole legalese as to how they came up with it. We, I mean, like, stop saying signature. It's retarded. It, it's silly. Okay, so the next. All right, here we go. The next one is I plan. A lot of you guys don't see the behind the scenes work. A lot of you guys don't see um, the constant planning. It may not seem like I plan, but I plan. <laughs> I plan, trust me, I plan. <laughs> I'm glad we came to this. Mm -hmm. We almost didn't come because Taylor was here. And we're like, ah, oh, because you know Taylor wants to do Disney, but. Other than checking out the Christmas merchandise, I've got no idea what we're doing. I'm kind of just here with the gang and. So every year they build a brand new set here, a brand new house, gingerbread house, and this is the new one for this year. We learned that in our sketching class that we had the other day at California Adventure. Um, I'm trying to figure out too how I'm going to do some things, because I actually don't really know ultimately what I want to do. Usually when I do this, I kind of just vibe it out. We'll get some details on it. We're kind of going in blind. But I did a little research. It's time for Amari breakfast. It closes at 11, but then a la carte continues until 11.45. This is actually a buffet breakfast, so. All right, well, second guess this. Um, I guess we just missed our window. We went to the car to drop off our pain. It's 11. Huh. Interesting. I got to do a lot of research. Going to compile everything. I mean, how do you, like, if, if the buffet ends at 11 o'clock, so you're going to go there at the exact end of it while they're trying to break it down, and you, I mean, like, what, I mean, it, um, it's it's amazing. And then the whole thing with the uh, with the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland, th that, they've been making that, that gingerbread house in the ballroom hall since the ride start since they started doing the uh, overlay. How do you, as a... As a Disney vlogger, how do you like? How do you not? Oh my God! So, so I found actually I found one of um, one of uh, Kalo Pilo Palo's uh, his uh, his plans his you know his his research plan for the his well researched plan for the um, to go into the parks. 
uh, and it's had, it, you know, the, the header is Walt Disney World. One, go on the, the uh, mine train. Two, find food I like. Three, look at old stuff. Four, have a pretzel. And five, go on fun rides. That's about as much research and planning that Kylo Palo Pilo does. All right, so the next clip is called Not From Mars. And by the way, my 12-year-old daughter wrote that. I asked her to, to put that together for me for a, for a plan. This is what I'm looking for right here. I do not know how I didn't see this at all. But apparently, this little marker here is from... Here, let's read it. You guys can read it right here. This is apparently from the actual rover that landed on Mars. And now it's here in Epcot. They brought it here, and they did the little, you know... And now we got the the rover that was actually on Mars. Kind of cool, really small update here compared to, you know, a lot of other things, but that's not really what they did. They obviously redid this a little bit. Oh, they really didn't do that? And they added this little splash, but hey, if you guys want to see something that's ever actually been on Mars, it's right here, now in Epcot. I, I'm so blind, I was literally standing there, like researching it, and I looked up, I'm like, oh my gosh, you bonehead. It's right here, for reference just to the right of the entrance well at least it gave it a decent reference so this thing's never been on mars and here you go it's so a new display outside the mission space attraction at Epcot replicates the tread the the tread marks left by nasa's perseverance rover on the surface of mars using using a prototype wheel that disney borrowed from the jet propulsion laboratories Walt Disney and Imagineering and NASA combined the magic of space and Disney to update an in-park display, recreating the surface of Mars in Mission Space. Now, like, what about this is from Mars, except the prototype wheel that was never went that never went to Mars? I mean, the, once the rover is at Mars, it's not coming back. I mean, like, <laughs> let's keep let's move on. So the next uh, clip is called "I Don't Like It." But I like it. Number one could be number two or whatever. I don't like crap. But I like this. But this? <laughs> Not now. Vermont. I don't like Rubens either. But I like you this Ruben. Me. I think the lamb is my new favorite. Surprisingly. Oh, delicious. It's so good. Oh my gosh. This is the new winner. This is the new winner. It's paired with spicy pear. Oh and my. the pear works so well. The pear is so good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, the next clip is called Disney Food is McDonald's. I can't get over how good it smells here, but just looking at this food and how precise and amazing it looks. How precise. This is definitely going to be a huge upgrade from Disney World's Food and Wine. No, no, again, no offense to Disney's Food and Wine, but these are obviously executive chefs. They're people who know food, and yeah. Here's the thing, guys. Last time Casey and I were here, it's the same thing. We have the same opinion. This is way better than Disney food. It is upscaled. This is really good. This is really good. It makes food and wine just look like McDonald's. Oh my, oh my gosh, you bonehead. I mean, the, so Disney doesn't have executive chefs. I mean, like, what? The, each, each of the food booths. All right, I just can't. All right, so the next, the next clip is called Yum. Wow. It's a big portion too. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It works so well. This is the equivalent of his assessment of where the food is eating. It's Food Room by KP. Technically, this is like one of the signature dining opportunities here. <laughs> All right. So the next, the next, the next clip is called "Tale of the Vegetarian." So the rest of this is just going to be like satire. So he went to this, um, this the 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 event at the at the Swan Reserve with this girl who's a vegetarian, 
and he brings back to the table lamb. Now, I, I don't know how many of you have vegetarian friends. I have, I have a couple of my vegan friends. Lamb is not is like one of the biggest no nos is, is if you're a vegetarian. As if or that you are a vegetarian. Okay, we've got some smoked American lamb here this time. Don't mind if I do. Now, this is another one that Taylor cannot have. Please, Kyle. I thought you loved me. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. So, I'm gonna grab one. Lamb. Thank you. Let's give it a roll. I'm gonna lamb and veal. Not. I mean, you can even look at the look on her face at the very end of that. She does not look happy about it. So, the next clip is called Knock Knock, I'm a Dope. It's Halloween. So it's like, you know, Halloween Town, but it's Flavor Town. <laughs> oh Flavor Town today. I mean, it's like it's like the like the, the jokes that are told at a kindergarten table at snack time. OK, so the next the next video is called. Uh, so <clears throat> so the the troll patrol guy, like a lot of what he was doing initially, like I was going to kind of do it the way he's doing it, where you just <clears throat> put clips up. And then you do voiceover. But I figured if I'm going to do this, then I'm, I should put my face to it. Otherwise, you know, but th that's just my feeling. So <clears throat> so it turns out that the Troll Patrol guy is not actually a guy. It's a squirrel. I did that. Hey, squirrel. Go away. Leave What's me alone. Don't somebody? you have a signature We're restaurant to go oh, to? Or some other grift Thanks, to perform? Buddy. Help Thanks. me. Oh gosh, Get this so mad man away from me. He Help. Yeah, he <laughs> All right. So the next clip is called KP and the Duck. We've made it to Target and there are these big oh ducks no. here. You are the one the squirrel yeah, told us about. Does anybody know what these are? Looks like someone's been I watching this Disney Detonation. Of I don't know. Nice job figuring like out what type of duck I am. Is very next invasive. time maybe you could give could us some bread know. or something us ducks well, like to eat. There's a crap ton over here. Yes, those are my friends I'm over sure. there. They don't like you either. This duck is huge. Now get lost. And I'm going to continue to do that. I mean, I don't care if it's it's you know, biting or stealing some of the guy's ideas. I think it's I think it's hilarious, and I think he's doing a, a pretty fun, a pretty good job too. So kudos to him. So the next clip is the grammar police noticing mistakes no one wants to care about. And here we go. Let's get right into it. Definitely, if you want a hotel that doesn't feel like you're at Disney World, like it gets you a little escape when you go from the parks to your hotel, this is it. So Here's clip number two. Oh, that is so cute. It is a good life. It is a good life, especially today. Please take note. The correct enunciation is especially. All right, so that's the end of this episode today. Um, I will be coming up with more. Uh, the next, I think I want to do one on the WDW guy. He recently came out with a, a, a not recently, but a podcast about other, the other Disney vloggers. And boy, I thought he really was kind of a, I don't want to just say jerk to everyone, but anyway, and transmission. Uh, that's ridiculous, Mo. And transmission.